All right, Algebra 1, I'm going to be making one video for this review and one video only. Uh, I am not going to go through and reteach everything we've already done. Um, so you need to like buckle down and get this handled. I will have an uh, answer key up for you, though, so you'll be able to check your work. So I'm going to go through and basically give you a touch up on everything you need to solve these problems. If you're just going to be watching these videos to copy the answers, like it's not going to help you that much. So for the first one, I'm going to point out right here, uh, I'm going to actually do this one because I need you all to see this pattern by now. If you have a perfect square, which x squared is a perfect square, a minus sign and another perfect square, you can factor it out just like this quickly. You can do it just like this very quickly. And what did I do? What's the square root of 64? 8. Square root of x squared? x. That's all I did. You can see the pattern here, so make sure you set this one up correctly as well, too. You're going to have an x and an x, and you'll have a plus and a minus. Make sure you know what to do with that. This one requires ABCs. This one requires ABCs. Uh, 12 requires the ABCs. I'm not going to work this for you. I have been doing this literally since October. And if you still can't do the ABCs, like, I'm over it. So take your lump, take your bad grade. Like, you've had every opportunity in the world to learn your ABCs when it comes to factoring, and I'm just done. So with that said, um, this one right here, these are easier to factor. When you have A equaling to 1, when you have A equaling to 1, remember you can just basically quickly set it up with an X and an X. So make sure you, you follow that. So like when you see the X's, X's, see that, you can do that. Uh, but when you have something like a three or a two, anything but a one up here for your A, that's when you have to do the whole grouping thing in ABCs all the way through. Um, so make sure you do that. Again, I have the answer keys up for this. Um, let's go over here. And now what am I going to look at? Ah, number eight. Number eight is a GCF problem. You can take out a three and you get X minus seven. So when you make sure you understand that we still have those things we have to do. Number 10 is kind of fun because what we end up with is um, we get, what is it? You pull out the six and you end up with X squared minus four, but check it out. It goes one more time because this actually breaks down the way number one broke down. Uh, and then number two, I mean, number 11, you can just pull out a 2 on this one. So make sure, and that's all you can do. And there's no X's to pull out because they both don't have X's. All right, I'm going to move on to this next one. For anybody still struggling with this material, I'm going to show you how to do it. You ready? When you set these problems up, you basically rewrite it, and you set it up with 9X on the bottom, uh, X plus 8 right here. It's literally the same thing. And then what you have to do is you have to make the bottoms match. So what does that look like? Well, this one has 9x. This one has x plus 8. That's the two pieces we need. So we need both of them to have that. x plus 8. And then this one will have, oh, I need to write it up here, x plus 8. And then this one will have x plus 8. Not x plus 8, my bad. Uh, it'll have 9x. And then it'll have 9x. And then what ends up happening is you end up getting to scratch out the bottom of this, scratch out the denominator, and you have to then solve the top part. And again, if you're still struggling with solving this uh, top part on this, it's like, I'm over it, y'all. It's April. You've had me for months. If you still can't do GCF, if you still can't distribute, you just need to take your lump. Like, it's, we're done. It's the last six weeks and I'm still teaching this stuff. Like, come on. With that said, uh, how do you find your answers that it can't be? You set your denominators equal to zero. So then you divide by 9 on this one, divide by 9 on this one. X equals 0, meaning it can't equal 0. There's another one, though, as well, too, so make sure you do that. X cannot equal negative 8. Uh, and it's the bottom here. This one is only going to have one solution that it can't be. Because when you set 8 equal to 0, it makes no sense. Let's go to the next stuff. Uh, same thing. I'll help you set up this one. You'll notice that whenever a number doesn't have anything on the bottom, um, or a term doesn't have anything on the bottom, just leave it like that. Like, it's technically a 1 there, but we're not going to repeat our 1 over and over. So you basically set this problem up the exact same way. But now check it out. What are our bottom pieces? Well, we only have an x plus 7 and an x plus 7. That's it. So all we have to do is add the x plus 7 here, and then add the x plus 7 here. And then you're ready to rock and roll. So don't overthink this one too much. You can now see that all of them match. Uh, this one will only have one, so like one that it can't be. And this will have one solution that it can be. But pay attention, this has a very special uh, thing going on there. Um, for long division, we've done this now for three days. I am kind of tired of doing this. And I'm going to basically show you how to set these up. Number six, you will notice it's missing an x. So pay attention to how I set this up. Uh, minus 14x squared. And you don't have to change your um, pin color. 
but I'm going to because I want y'all to see that right there. And then um, plus 100. You see what happened? You're, if you're wondering when to add the zero x's, it's when you go to your biggest term, which is this case three, and it has to have one that has a two on it, has to have a one on it, and then it has to have something with no letters whatsoever. So that's why we fill it in there. And then how do we get this going? It's the same process over and over. It's still pretty fresh from yesterday. Start here, start here. You get x cubed over x, which gives you x squared. And that goes in the x squared column, et cetera, and then keep going. And again, use the answer key online. Um, that's just that. And then this one is the same thing. You're going to, you have your three, you have your two, you have a one, you have no x's. You're going to set it up the same way. And again, use the answer key online. Um, and with that said, yeah, I just did not, I was not in the mood to do these videos because I'm like, really? We've already done this a lot. And then that's it. Okay. So you set it up that way and you do the whole process. You'll notice I didn't add any zeros in this one because they had a piece of every single one of them. So clock's the difference in that. And then as far as the next one goes, where it says synthetic division, just cross that out. I'm not in the mood to do any more work and I want y'all to finish this today. And I know how y'all move. So just cross those out. And then um, that's that. That's what I need y'all to do today. Um, cool. Use the answer key for your help. 